In this video, we are going to talk about dehydration. Dehydration is defined as the excessive loss of water from the body. Body requires certain amount of fluid intake for normal function. The minimum daily requirement of water intake is about 1 liter. Dehydration occurs when fluid loss is more than what is consumed. It also varies according to age and activity of the individual. Now we will talk about the classification of dehydration. The first is mild dehydration. It occurs when the fluid loss is about 5% of the total body fluids. It is not very serious. The second is the moderate dehydration. It occurs when the fluid loss is about 10% of the total body fluids. It is little serious and immediate treatment should be given by rehydration. The third is the severe dehydration. It occurs when the fluid loss is about 15% of the total body fluids. It requires hospitalization and emergency treatment. Now we will discuss about the further classification of dehydration that is on the basis of the ratio of water loss and sodium loss. It includes isotonic dehydration, hypertonic dehydration and hypotonic dehydration. So first of all we will discuss about isotonic dehydration. It is the balanced loss of water and sodium as in the case of diarrhea or vomiting. The second is hypertonic dehydration. It is the loss of more water than sodium as in the case of fever. The third is hypotonic dehydration. It is the loss of more sodium than water as in case of excessive use of diuretics. Now we will discuss about dehydration in infants. Dehydration in infants is caused by bacterial or viral infection that leads to vomiting and diarrhea in infants which ultimately causes dehydration. It becomes life-threatening if the lost body fluids are not replaced. As in the first six months after birth, volume of extracellular fluid is already decreased. So further, the dehydration affects the infants very badly. Now we will see the aging effects on dehydration. The older people are more at risk of developing dehydration because of increased fluid loss and decreased fluid intake and it can be fatal.